This video will provide instructions for how to continuously calculate peak maximum given a channel of acceleration data. This can be done offline or it can also be done in real time via the use of calculation channels. We'll begin with the setup for doing this offline. First of all, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate the original waveform and apply a high pass filter. We'll go ahead and apply a 0.1 Hz high pass filter. And what this does is it centers the signal a bit more closer, a bit closer to zero. This will in fact reduce the peak maximum measured at each of the peaks, but it will do that just slightly. And this is a compromise worth making uh, because it will make peak detection considerably easier uh, when this line of no activity is centered at zero. We can see exactly what the difference would be. If we set channel 2 and channel 1 to the maximum measurement, we can see that for this highlighted section there is a little underestimation for the peak maximum in this new channel which has the high pass filter applied. Here is another example. And of course, you can calculate exactly what type of underestimation is happening when you perform a high pass filter. The next step would be again to duplicate this channel. And now we'll go ahead and smooth the waveform. So we'll go to transform, smoothing and uh, we, we're going to use a 100 samples window. This waveform has been acquired at 1000 samples per second so this essentially means a 0 0.1 second uh, smoothing window. This further underestimates the peak maximum uh, measurement and we can uh, find out exactly by how much when looking at the individual data selections. Again, this is a quick way to obtain peak maximum approximations and uh, it's also a way of um, applying a moving average to the signal. So this may or may not be the ideal option for every case, but it does provide a very quick way of obtaining the peak maximum calculation. And to obtain the peak maximum calculation, the final step is to go to transform, uh, to go to analysis find rate and from the list of functions we have to choose the peak maximum function and choose a threshold level that will be such that lies just above the zero line and uh, for example we have chosen 0 0.2 for this file Click OK and now we have a new waveform which is a staircase plot where the value changes with each new peak maximum measurement we can also perform all of these steps offline. If we go to set up channels, we can simply set up a new calculation channel that will first do, this, do uh, our high pass filtering. So we'll perform a high pass filter at 0 0.1 hertz. Then we have another channel, and this channel will perform the smoothing. It will get at 100 samples. It will take data from the filtered channel. And finally, one last channel to perform the rate function. It will take its data from the smoothing channel. Again, it will use the peak maximum function and we have to manually enter the threshold level. And that's basically it. In, in this fashion, you can obtain a calculation channel that will give you the same result as what we see here on the bottom. If you use a function such as the network data transfer functionality, then you can only send this channel of data to your application and uh, you will receive an update 
of the big maximum values upon every change.